I'm very excited to be making this video as after many months of deliberating, planning and analyzing, we are finally ready to release the findings from our first annual Salesforce developer survey. This will be the first survey of many as we attempt to understand the Salesforce ecosystem more deeply by analyzing quantitative and qualitative data. Our first survey has not disappointed and we're thrilled at the insights that we've seen. We hope that this data will paint a more comprehensive picture of what is working in the Salesforce ecosystem, as well as what needs more attention. Let's dive into some of the top findings from the white paper, and you can download a free copy with the link in the description below. A debate that seemingly seems to rage on between admins and devs about what is the superior form of developing on the platform. Declarative can be seen as low-code way to develop quickly, mainly using flows, whilst coding Apex is much more specialized, but can result in performance and scalability gains. But according to our survey, 34% of people who identify as Salesforce developers use an equal mix of both programmatic and declarative tools, presumably because they are using the tool that is best suited for the job. This is followed up by 25% of respondents who say they mainly use programmatic, which suggests they use some declarative, and 22% of developers who use mainly declarative. Only 9% say they use declarative only, and 4.2% say they use programmatic only. I have no doubt that flow has had a huge effect on these ratios. Five years ago, we might have seen a very different picture, with more developers presumably choosing to use programmatic due to a lack of maturity in flow or process builder. This insight will come as no surprise to many, but it's interesting to see the survey results confirm. A whopping 52.8% of respondents agree that Salesforce is becoming increasingly complicated to work with. There are many reasons for this that we found out from respondents, but overall, Salesforce is becoming a mature product. It's been around for many years now, with lots of enterprise orgs that are probably approaching a decade old or more. There have also been many changes over the past 10 years. Lightning migrations, workflow and process builder becoming retired, many new products and acquisitions that have to be implemented into the platform. Check out the full white paper to learn the areas people struggle with the most. It's definitely an interesting read. DevOps has been one of the most talked about topics in the Salesforce ecosystem for a few years now. Although AI has firmly taken the spotlight, it's still an extremely important topic, especially in light of the org complexities people are facing. However, it seems that DevOps is well adopted in the Salesforce ecosystem, with 70% of respondents using some kind of DevOps tool, whether it be a third-party product such as Capado or Gearset, DevOps Center, or their own blend of tools using Salesforce Developer Experience, or SFDX. With that being said, DevOps was also one of the areas that many developers felt less confident in as a skill, with nearly 20% of respondents stating this was an area they needed to skill up in. So whilst DevOps may be well adopted, the Salesforce ecosystem may not be living up to its full potential. There has been a big push over the past 10 years or so to ensure that there is more gender diversity in the tech ecosystems. Whilst development roles have been typically dominated by men, there is an encouraging sign that the next generation of developers will have more females. Overall, 76% of respondents were men, with 20% being female and 1% identifying as non-binary, with 3% admitting results. But when you drill down into age, 35% of male developers fit into the 25 to 34 age bracket, but this percentage increases to 45% for female developers. In addition, 4.4% of males fit into the 18 to 24 category, whilst this increases to 5.6% for females. Artificial intelligence and ChatGPT have been the most adopted technologies in history, so the results in our survey aren't too surprising. A whopping 30% of our respondents are using AI tools on a daily basis, whilst 41% are using it now and again. Only 28% aren't using it at all. Those that aren't using it at all correlate with working for larger companies, where security protocols will be much stricter. The benefits of using AI are also clear. Higher productivity, faster learning, and overall better efficiency in coding. Whilst this is all great, there are of course concerns when it comes to security, and this will be the bigger conversation over the coming months and years. I hope you found some of these trends as insightful as we have, and make sure to download the full white paper for free to learn all about what developers are up to in the Salesforce ecosystem. Next up is our global Salesforce salary survey, which has just closed, and the results will be available in the coming months.